let's look at the next company that's doing software on AI, the next small startup, and it's called Airship AI. So you can see that they're a little more involved in the defense industry and they do have some hardware also. So they're not a software only play here. You can see their out, Outpost AI here. Um, but then you see a couple things mentioned for their software. So they're saying here they're doing enterprise video data and sensor management, um, but they do a lot of that for defense industries also. You see a drone here. Um, so when I go over to their chart, it's been extremely volatile also. It looks like I entered at $6.26 over the last three months. It's jumped all the way up to $13. So I more than doubled my money and now it's back down to eight sixty seven. dollars Now the reason Airship AI shot up so much in the last month, month and a half is because of a news, a news snippet on a contract they got with the Department of Justice. So Airship AI announced a significant sole source contract award within the Department of Justice for Acropolis Enterprise Video and Data Management Platform. Um, this is their first, so first agency within the Department of Justice to deploy their services. So this is kind of a big deal, should be a big contract, and there's a lot of hope that these contracts will continue. But right now, their market cap is relatively small, $214 million. So once again, we just talked about a $2.3 trillion AI company. Some people think that NVIDIA will grow to $10 trillion over the coming decade. And we're looking at a company right here that's $214 million. So if it caught 2 3% of NVIDIA's market cap, this would be absolutely explosive growth for anyone who's holding it. So that's why these small caps are attractive to speculative investors. But this is a highly speculative play. What's your take, Kai? Yeah, I, nothing like the government to fund some of these new AI startups, I guess. But I, yeah, I mean, my take is the same as SoundHound. I, I wouldn't particularly invest in this. I would rather invest in video because I think they're going to have purchase orders for the next two to three years from companies like Microsoft and Meta. So if NVIDIA is going to go grow to $10 trillion, that's substantial growth with consistent purchase orders that are in place. I'm suspecting these purchase orders are in place. Uh, first and foremost, let me clarify that. But uh, I am going to watch AISP and Soundtown very closely because the story is being written and I would like, I think their part of the story is going to be very important. 